Hey folks, JD here. And before we get into what's in this package, I want to say a very big thank you to Heath. Now Heath is known as the RC Hunter, also known as 3D Printing Homie Heath. He started a new channel, his, and now he's 3D printing, as well as his RC hobby on the side. Now with his 3D prints, he's creating fantastic models, he's 3D printing FPV whoops, he's 3D printing trucks, cars, he's doing no end of amazing things. The models he's making and printing out, they take up to 10 or 11 hours at a time. He's hand painting them, they look spectacular. If you go into my, into my description, if you can click on his link, I would very much appreciate that. Drop him a subscription, let him, let him know that I've sent you. His channel is brilliant and I would recommend it to absolutely everybody. He's also been a friend of mine for the best part of two and a half years. He's a great guy, so please, if you've got five minutes, I'd very much appreciate it if you could visit his channel. Okay, now let's find out what's inside this package. The following. So, along with Heath's 3D printing, he's been printing mini whoops, he's been printing a load of things. And he's also been printing these. Now, I saw him print these a couple of weeks ago on his channel. And he had them, and essentially what he's got here, these are elongated landing sprigs for his Parrot Bebop. Now, as I have a Bebop as well, he agreed to print me these, which is very kind. Thank you very much. So what we've got to do now is take these and put them on this. So what we're going to do first is, as you can see, these just slot into here and they work right they fit they give you a little bit extra length so that you can land but what you've got inside here is you've got a little bit of rubber now if you have a look, little look at the rubber this side you may be able to see it it's just overlapping slightly on the inside now what we've got to do is pull that bit of rubber out a bit like that and then you can fit these landing sprigs elongated landing sprigs into into here until they click in and they go in firmly like that. Look at that. That's just spectacular. The dimensions are exact. They are 100% perfect. Look at this. There is no overlap. There's no slightly, you know, it's not slightly out of kilter. Nope, it's absolutely perfect. 100%. Heath, thank you ever so much. So what I'm gonna do, this is normally where I would speed the video up, but I'm not gonna do that today because Heath has gone to the trouble to print these for me. And I at least want him to show, I want to show him that I'm fitting every single one of them and fitting them properly. Oh, look at that. And you know what? These, do you know what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to just bring this over here. Let's weigh one. So one of them weighs three grams. One, three, three, two, three, six, three, three, nine, four, three, twelve. Twelve grams extra onto this brushless quad. Now, versus, which is nothing, by the way. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying, oh, you know, that that's a lot. We look at these rubber bungs so 12 grams by having these extra little plastic elongators whereas oh it's flick, flicking between eight and zero grams for these four rubber bungs now the extra 13 grams of weight does not bother me at all quite simply because this copter is a brushless copter it has the ability to carry action cans which are a lot heavier than 13 grams usually between the 40 and 70 gram mark especially the ones that i have and i've carried as well as <laughs> as well as having this particular camera on here i've carried one uh, camera on the top and one camera on the back here and i've had no problem whatsoever now <laughs> look at that that is fantastic two at the front flip it around two at the back and every single one of them fits 100% perfectly. That is beautiful. And do you know what? That looks fantastic. Absolutely looks fantastic. Heath, thank you ever so much for doing that. That is fantastic. Really, really is good. Do you know what? I can't wait to take this out. As soon as this storm passes, this is going out and we're going to test it and see exactly how it goes. But that extra 
weight, the, the, sorry, the extra uh, clearance on the bottom there is fantastic. Oh, I really, really like that. Thank you, Heath, ever so much. There we are, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed that. Next step for this particular copter with these landing sprigs is to take it out for, for, for a flight and see exactly how it does. Thank you ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.